Hi, in this video I will show you how you can set up the StarCam IP camera with your Android device. So here it is. So before you begin, make sure that you reset all the settings. So you can use the reset button back here. And make sure you reset all the settings back to the factory default. Once it is back to the factory default, we can uh, start up. So make sure the, the IP camera is switched on. And on your Android phone, you can go to the Play Store and download uh, the camera app. So in Play Store, um, I can uh, basically install um, i4. So this is one of the apps that you can use. There's uh, a quite a number of different apps that you can use. And tap on that app here and then tap on install. If it is already installed on your phone, you can tap on open. Then we need to sign in the account. So I'm just going to sign in. So put in the password and then tap on the login button. And then once you log in, tap on the plus button at the top here. And then it says scan uh, the camera. So tap on the scan to add. Then tap on allowed. So here we can turn over. In the back here there are some information about the camera. So we will scan and then straight away it's picking up. Okay, so it's invalid. Uh, so I'm just going to do it again. Okay, now it's picking up. So we will uh, tap on the wireless configuration. Please use app for Wi-Fi configuration. So tap on there is a voice prompt. Then we need to print the Wi-Fi password. Now it's picking up the 5G Wi-Fi and this is going to be a problem because say the camera does not support 5G network at the moment. So we need to um, connect the phone to uh, 4G instead. So I'm just going to connect my to a 4G Wi-Fi network and then I'm going to go back here and then we will put in the Wi-Fi password. Once you put in the Wi-Fi password, tap on the OK Place button. Place your smartphone near the camera. Tap on Press the OK send button. button then, then wait for camera's response. Tap on the send button at the bottom here. And then tap on OK. And it's making that some noise, like scanning noise. Wireless is connected. Wireless connection success. We will say wireless connection success. I'm just going to decrease the volume down because it's really annoying. Okay, now we need to put in the password. So the default password can be found or located at the back here. The password right there. So I'm just going to print the password on the phone. And then tap on the edit button. So that's adding. And there it is, you can see it's picking up in here already. And then I tap on OK button. It said the device is using initial password or default password. So we need to change it. So just tap on OK and we change the password now. We put one, two, three, four. And I tap on submit. Okay, so that's an incorrect password. So we need to put in the default password. So it's loading at the moment. So what it's doing now is it's basically uh, reconfiguring the IP camera. So just wait for a minute or two for it to finish. Uh, we uh, rebooting or loading up the information onto the phone. So say incorrect password again, so I give it a try. Another try. Okay, 
So I'll just uh, cancel that. Okay, so now after putting in the correct password, it's working as you can see. There it is. So we can uh, so we can actually also cruise. So it's going up and down. So once you are connected to the cameras, we can use the cruise button to uh, uh, move the cameras around. You can also um, use your preset so that it can uh, point at uh, certain positions on uh, on here. So once it is at a certain position, you can tap on the preset and it will point to that position. So it's uh, pretty cool. So you can just tap on it to stop. So as soon as you tap on it, it will stop the camera at that position, as you can see. And that's it. That's how you can uh, connect your cameras uh, to your Android device and how you can connect the StarCam IP camera. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.